Hi, Mark White here. Welcome to Senior Matters Radio, the podcast version. Um, here at Idaho State Planning, um, we have been, uh, we've had an ongoing uh, theme of no place like home. Uh, it, this arose particularly because of the COVID issues and people finding it a little bit scary uh, to move out of their own homes. Um, those of you that were concerned about moving out of your own homes, we've talked a little bit about how scary it is for your kids and others uh, that you are still in your uh, own home. And the concern, of course, is making sure that you're safe uh, and that you have a high quality of life wherever you call home. And so that's been our ongoing theme for um, over two years now. We're adding to that this year, uh, figuring out how to make sure that you're able to stay wherever your home is, if that's the home you live in presently, or if you move to a smaller place, or you moved into uh, you know, independent living, or, or even assisted living. We wanna make sure that you're able to do that and that you're prepared to do that. And so we've started off this year talking about your advisors, your, your team, if you will, your personal board of advisors. Um, we, we called it like your rope team. Um, if you do climbing, um, you need a rope team. Make sure that you stay safe. And so we've been talking about that. This morning I had breakfast with friends of mine who uh, parents are moving uh, to Boise from out of town and the kids are realizing there's a number of things that need to be done to get mom and dad in a place where they're safe uh, and comfortable and that they have a you know high quality of life and the list of things just really seems you know high there are a lot of things that need to be taken care of um, for example there's the financial end can i afford to be at home can I afford at the time comes to bring in a little bit of help? Whether that's a little bit of housekeeping, uh, yard work, um, doing laundry, um, making sure that I can get out in and out of bed okay, if there's concerns with bathing. These are all things that we need to take into account. Now, if you move into assisted living, that's one of the reasons you go there is because these things have all been taken care of. Um, that, that's what you are, if you will, buying uh, from the community that you're moving into. If you're at home, you don't necessarily or automatically have someone there to make sure that that's all taken care of. And so we are suggesting uh, that you get prepared. Make sure that you have things in place so that you can be in your own home and that you can be safe and have a high quality of life. So um, financially is important. Um, safety is important if you are going to be on your own uh, or if you're going to be in your home that you've been in for you know a number of years. There's some concerns about you know well I've got thick pile um, shag carpet and it's got some runners on it and it could trip me. I've got the uh, little coffee table with sharp corners that I've had there forever, but it's kind of hard to get around. Um, I've got a throw rug in the hall and it's, you know, it slides. These are things that you know, we're concerned about and we want to make sure that if you are at home that you stay safe. There's um, the health um, physically, you know, if you've got physical health that you're able to, you know, you know, take care of yourself. Can you get up? Can you get up in the middle of the night like old men do? Uh, go to the bathroom, but are you safe? Get back in bed and you're going to be okay. Can you get up in the morning and fix yourself some breakfast, um, fix some lunch, uh, you know, things like that, maybe do the, the housekeeping. Are you able physically to do that? Then there's the social issues that we all are also concerned about. I've seen a number of situations where the social interaction that a client or a would-be client was having on an ongoing basis was the news. Uh, on TV 
that, that's what they did. They watched the TV throughout the day. And as you know, over the last couple of years, that can be a real downer uh, to continue to watch TV, catch all the news. You know, we've got a 24 hour news cycle. And what does that mean? It means that they keep coming back on and often it's the same story over and over again. And they add a little bit as they get more information. You know, that can be a downer. That can affect your, your mental health or your emotional health. So these are all things that we, and we'll talk more about uh, um, all of these as the year goes on. These are all things that we are recommending that you pay attention to and you prepare yourself so that you are, uh, again, in a safe, and, and in a high quality um, um, environment where, you know, it's enjoyable. Uh, and emotionally, mentally, you can be there for a long time. The couple that I talked to, their folks are kind of starting from scratch because they're moving into town. And so that list of things that they would like to have, you know, is, is a bit long. And then the ability to get there, that seems a little daunting. Uh, that can be really, a, you know, a lot of work um, to get there, or, or certainly feels like a lot of work to get there. So the question they were asking me is, okay, where do we start? What do we do? And I was remembering uh, a concept that I learned yeah, a number of years back. It's called Kaizen. If you want to look it up, it's K-A-I-Z-E-N. And it's an interesting, it's, it's a manufacturing concept or business concept, if you will, that comes to us out of Japan, hence the name Kaizen. It's a term that means improvement. And after the Second World War, um, the uh, manufacturing capacity in um, Japan had taken a big hit. Um, there was a lot of bombing and then we dropped a couple of large-scale um, uh, hydrogen bombs that really crippled their manufacturing, so they had to rebuild it. We stepped in as a country and um, provided some aid and provided some thinking uh, to help them uh, improve their uh, manufacturing. And we were evidently successful, and Toyota was one of the success stories. They got really good and actually got a little bit better at building cars than we did for a period of time. One of the concepts they used was this Kaizen, which means improvement. And, and the, the basis of Kaizen is gradual, that is improvements over a period of time. So instead of jumping in and changing up everything overnight or within a week or within a you know, couple of weeks or a couple of months, there was some uh, improvement, um, you know, little bit by little bit. And that was my first thought when I was visiting with these friends this morning is, oh, okay, 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 let's, let's not jump into this and try to eat the whole elephant this morning. Because uh, one, you can't. And two, um, it'll wear you out. Uh, you will not have the um, ability physically, emotionally to do that. So can we break down the steps and then you know, take a little bit of time, whether that's daily, whether that's weekly, and, you know, get things lined out. And the answer, of course, is yes. Um, the, the key is to, the discipline is to make improvements, again, daily, weekly, not try to sit down and do it all at once. Now, I tend to procrastinate. And so it's really easy for me to think, okay, well, I'm going to sit down on Saturday and I'm going to whatever, do all the yard work, clean the garage. I'm going to fix this or I'm going to have this project. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have a Saturday project. I, I need them. Um, but uh, if I did a little bit over time, you know, I could get more done on a Saturday instead of trying to get this whole thing eaten in, in one sitting. So let me see if I can take some, um, some steps for you. 
uh, maybe the first thing to consider is coming up with your vision, if you will. Meaning, where do you see yourself in three, five, ten years? What, what does that look like for you? And what I mean by that is, you know, what things do you see that need to be done to the house? Um, how do you want the house to look, feel, um, whatever in three, five, or, or 10 years? Um, and, and, and get that fixed squarely in, in your, you know, in your vision. Uh, financially, it could be the same thing. What do I want to have, you know, I, I, I I need some monthly income. What does that look like? Um, I need some insurance covering. What does that look like? Um, so these are things to kind of get in your brain. Now, if you're sitting there going, well, Mark, I don't know what that looks like. Great. I'm, that's perfectly fine. That's what you have your board of advisors for. So from a financial uh, a situation, um, maybe the first step, is to sit down with your financial advisor, the financial person or professional that you have on your board of advisors. You sit down with them and go, hey, listen, I wanna make sure that I can stay in my house. And you start to have that conversation. That, that may be the very first step. Now, he or she may turn around and say, great, here's some homework for you. Awesome. Um, again, you don't have to go home and do that all in one day. Maybe the financial, uh, your financial advisor says, listen, I need to get a better picture of where you are right now financially. Well, as it turns out, right now is not a bad time to be thinking about that. We've got the tax season is upon us and pretty quick you'll need to be filing a tax return. So you may have a, you know, your tax return preparer, your CPA, uh, your accountant who's already got you pulling together, you know, financial information. Did you get your 1099s for the year? Did you get your social security statement? You know, these are things, uh, your bank statements, you pull that together. Um, you're gonna do that for taxes. So that might not be too hard to pull that together for your financial advisor and sit down and say, okay, let's have that conversation. Um, and then you can start to look at some options. And again, right now it's kind of, well, what's my vision, right? If you came in and sat down with me and legally that's another one of your advisors, if you came and sat down with me, that's what I would prod a little bit and go, okay, so what are you thinking? What does this look like for you? What does a quality environment look like to you? What does safety look like to you? What does a good social environment look like to you? And have that conversation, right? So you've got to be thinking through that, but you don't have to have that all accomplished, you know, again, overnight. Um, one of the first steps here, financial advisor, maybe the financial advisor says, no, 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 back up, get your taxes done. Get your taxes done first, then let's visit. And you can bring in your, you know, your tax information with your financial information. We can sit down, we can, we can begin that conversation. All right, so what's a Kaizen step that you could take here? Well, to me, one of the first things you could do is call your tax return preparer. Right? Just pick up the phone, make an appointment. Like, doesn't have to be this week or next week. You're making an appointment. Now, if you're going to get money back from the government, I can see doing this sooner rather than later because there's nothing like getting, you know, a refund check. I love it. It, it works. Um, but if you're not getting money back or a lot of money back, then, you know, we can take our time. So call them up, set an appointment. This is a Kaizen step right? Ask them what you need to bring with you. Now, if you've been doing this for years, you already have a pretty good idea what you need to bring with you, but you might ask that question again. All right, just make sure what do I need to bring with me? How can I be better prepared for this appointment? That's a Kaizen step. You could do that today. You could watch this in the morning. This isn't that long. You could watch this in the morning. You could call this afternoon and have, you know, say, hey, listen, I need to set that up. Okay, 
Then what's the next step? Well, you might need to pull together some information, some documents. Whoa. Maybe throughout the year you have a drawer where you threw or, or a file that you put all those documents in it. Yay! You do not, at this point, need to sit down and try to organize all those. We'll talk about that. Um, tomorrow maybe, or the next day you start and, and you pull out and you put this, this statement with this statement. So you've got this from one bank, put that all together. You've got your social security statement, you grab that. You've got, you know, Medicare receipts, you pull that together. So you can get that organized, right? But yeah, don't spend hours on that. Uh, sit down, maybe get them all in the same place. Maybe that's your Kaizen step tomorrow. Get them all into the same place. Get them all into the same drawer. That's the Kaizen step. The next Kaizen may be putting like, um, kind statements with the other statements from that same financial institution. You know, it's, it's not, doesn't have to be that, that difficult. Now, if you have questions, great. Love it. Have questions about some of the financial information that you have. I think that's wonderful. Don't call your tax return preparer right now and try to get an answer to that, you know, to those questions. You'll get those answers, but you don't need to do that today. Kaizen step, get it put together. When you meet with your tax return preparer, you can start asking questions. You know, get that information um, and, and figure out what you just want to know, which is fine and compare that to what they need to have in order to get your taxes done. Because that's kind of the game here is get the taxes done and hopefully we get a refund or hopefully at least you don't have to pay, but get that all put together. Okay, so that's, that's a Kaizen step. The next step after you get your taxes done is maybe then call your financial advisor back and say, okay, I got the taxes done. And he or she goes, okay, what did that look like? Have you got all those documents together? Yes, I got copies. I got copies of last year's tax return, blah, 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 blah. And this year's tax return, great. Let's get together, all right? You don't have to ask an, a, a thousand questions right then. You, you can, and if they'll spend the time, that's great, but you don't need to because you're going to get together. The Kaizen step was making the appointment. And it should be a relatively easy now uh, step to get together with your financial advisor because you've pulled together a lot of information for your taxes. So hopefully there's not a lot there that you need to do. The Kaizen step, just get ready for the, uh, you know, to meet with your financial advisor. All right, so what are some of the other things that you could do? Um, we have run into a number of businesses that can come to your house and, and do an assessment or an audit, if you will, and help you to understand some of the things that you could do to be safer in your own home. We don't want you falling. We don't want you tripping. We don't want you to hit the, the, uh, your little coffee table in there. We don't want you to fall, slip and fall in the tub or in the shower or in the bathroom. The bathroom happens to be pretty dangerous. Um, Kaizen step, call. If you, don't, if you don't have somebody, check in with us at the office. We, we have some people and they can come. You can invite them to come and do an assessment. And, you know, and then you could ask them some questions while they're there, but they can go through the house and say, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? Here's a recommendation. And you can figure out what it would cost to, you know, do some of the recommendations. The Kaizen step is to call. Not to get it done by Saturday, just call. Set an appointment. Get them out to the house. That's the second Kaizen step. Get them out. Um, visit with them. Do the tour, inspection, the, the assessment, whatever it is, and get a handle on the things you might need to do in order to make your place safe and comfortable. So the, the, part of that step would then be finding out, well, it's going to cost me some money. Okay, Kaizen step, 
go back to your financial advisor and say, you know what, I need 2,500 bucks or, or, or whatever it might be to make sure that I'm safe. Okay, well, let's talk about that. These are Kaizen or little steps. Don't have to, this is not a, this is not a one day project to get that all taken care of. First step, second step, third step. And then the Kaizen approach was you keep doing that. It's not like it's ever finished necessarily, you get better. And so this is something to keep in mind is those, those smaller steps. How do you know which steps to take? To me, that would be you visit with your advisors that are on your personal board of advisors. You know, who have you got on there? Health issues, talk to your doc. The doc says, okay, no, we need to coordinate with your other doctor, great. Um, here's some things that we need to think about. Fine, Kaizen step, call your doctor, set an appointment, or go to the appointment because they generally have you on some sort of a rotation. That works just really well. Um, so health, social, you're going, well, I don't even know what to do social. Well, who have you got? It's your family. You know, I think a great first step with your family is to sit down and have that conversation. We would like to be in our home. I'd like to be here. Can you help me with that? And hopefully your kids or grandkids go, yeah, we can help. I don't know if we can do everything, but we can help. We can make sure that we get over, we can help with the lawn, we can, you know, we can help clean your gutters, we can rake leaves, or whatever it might be. Um, have that first step, the Kaizen step with them to understand what it is that they'd be able to help with. And so those are the steps. And then the last time you wash your hair, on the side of the, um, um, the shampoo bottle, <laughs> there's the words, uh, rinse, repeat. Now, that was huge for the shampoo industry because it, it, people used you know, twice as much shampoo. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but they made a ton of bucks. But the concept was pretty simple. Rinse, repeat. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. So Kaizen finances, Kaizen your legal situation, Kaizen your health, uh, Kaizen your, your mental uh, and emotional health, um, Kaizen the safety at the house. These types of things, Kaizen, rinse, repeat. What's the next step? So this is something that is ongoing. Don't sit down and go, I've got to get all this done by you know, April 15th. The taxes, yes. All of this, not necessarily. So don't worry about getting it all done right now, but start and then take those little bitty Kaizen steps. And you're gonna find pretty quick, you're getting around this, you're getting, you're gonna understand it. You're gonna get really clear what it is that you wanna see and how you want things to work. And you've enlisted the right people. And you know, if not for you, and I say this because a number of clients that, well, I'm just fine, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if not for you, then do it for your kids or, or your grandkids, the people that love you, that are concerned about you. <laughs> Talk to them. Um, they don't have to guide all of your decisions, but if they're concerned about your safety or your well being, that would be a great conversation to have. And that would be a Kaizen step. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Um, again, if you need some help lining up any one of your advisors for your personal board advisors, give us a holler, let us know. Um, we can connect you with some people, help you to find somebody that works just, uh, just right for you. Um, in the meantime, stay safe, stay, stay well, um, and treat yourself well. You deserve it. Take care.